In this video we're going to go through uh, figure 4.10 which has an awful lot going on in it. The figure demonstrates how we can use uh, both the input market and the output market to capture uh, what is referred to as a compensating surplus, that is the uh, welfare change to a firm associated with a change in a uh, quantity of a restricted input. So let's just work through this piece by piece. So let's start with the situation, the base situation where the firm is facing prices W10 and W20 and an output price P0. As described earlier in the uh, text, we could uh, estimate the value of that welfare by either looking at the area underneath the price and above the marginal cost curve in the top graph, or the areas underneath the input demand curves in the bottom two graphs. And, and that's explored, um, described uh, earlier in that chapter. Um, but now we're going to consider a case where uh, X2 is a fixed input. That is, uh, the government says you have to use X2, the quantity X20. So now the that quantity is sort of treated instead as a fixed cost rather than a variable cost. Uh, but uh, obviously nothing else has changed, uh, so the other green areas still count as the surplus. But what happens if instead of uh, requiring X20, we now shift um, and require the firm to move back to X21. So in this case, uh, this is going to lead to a shift in both the output supply fun functions and the input demand functions as indicated here. So the output demand or output supply and uh, output demand functions are now functions of X20, the lower um, one on the top graph, and X21, uh, the higher one on the top graph. That's shifted uh, to the left uh, for both the, uh, the, the quantity produced and the quantity uh, demanded of those other goods. So what's the welfare change? Well, we can think about it first in the the market for X2 that uh, we know that before it was that full green area. If the firm had instead faced a higher price, W21, uh, then the their uh, surplus or welfare associated would be reduced down to that little area A. So if the reason for shifting from X20 to X21 was uh, a, an increase in the price, then the welfare would be the welfare lost would be B and C. But in fact, it was there's no uh, suggestion that there's a change in the price, only that there's a change in the quantity. So area B uh, is retained by the firm. That is, that those are rents um, that accrue to the firm uh, in the demand market uh, for X2. So uh, that area B is still included. So the, the welfare switches from ABC to just AB. So we see a loss in welfare equal to the area C. Now let's look at that in the context of of uh, market uh, for uh, the input X1. Uh, originally, the welfare to the firm could be measured by um, the area, the green area, S plus R. With the switch, uh, it's reduced to the area S, but that's, again, that's if there was a price change, which there's not. The, the fixed costs have also been reduced from D plus E to D, so the area E is actually a savings to the firm because relative to what they would have had to pay originally. So the authors claim that, that area E needs to be added back in. So uh, the area R is a measure of the loss, uh, but then you need to be compensated by a gain of E uh, in the reduction in fixed costs. Um, we can do the same thing in the output market. Surplus falls from y plus x down to just y, leading to a reduction in surplus measured only by the area x. But again, our fixed costs are reduced, and so area E needs to be added back in. Now, that's what they claim. Certainly, the areas R and x are valid measures of the welfare loss to the firm. Uh, but I think rather than adding back in the area E, you may, we, it may be 
right, to add in the area B, which is that additional savings to the firm since the price um, for W2 did not actually increase to W21. Uh, nonetheless, the, the basic uh, story is the same, and that is that we can measure the welfare uh, costs associated with this restriction in the input quantity uh, by either any one of the input markets or the output market. That's uh, figure 4.10.